Okay, we're here at uh, in the distribution, and uh, we're going to talk to Immortal. We we just have released a new album, and but let's go back to the beginning, and uh, not the very very beginning, but the beginning of Immortal. That was 1981. Uh, yeah, uh, they started the collaboration. Uh, Autumn. Yeah, yeah, and, and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and uh, one these these times, uh, 19 years ago. Did you ever see that Immortal? Did you ever have thoughts about Immortal getting so big? Well, uh, we had a, you know, in in the beginning, we had a vision of becoming bigger than Venom, <laughs> as it were, <laughs> which is of course important, you know, impossible. Maybe bigger than they are today, but not not of course. as they were. You know. That, that's actually impossible. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think so, yes. All right. But uh, within, the, within the black metal scene, you're one of the biggest bands, actually. Even today, and has yeah. been the last few years, so... Well, you know, we're, we have, we have a, built up a kind of a status, you know, for good or for worse. Yes. Nobody else. I believe so, and, and uh, the fans have stuck with us for what we did. And it's... Uh, I think it's really how we want wanted it to be, even if we couldn't see it at the time. You know? Yeah. I think it's a great position because the underground credibility is uh, means very much to us, and uh, I think that music is not magic when it's very commercial. I think the the magic of music and the darkness of music uh, ha has another power, m a much more darker power when it's not so big, you know? You look! It's black metal! <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, it's uh, it's big enough in the sense that uh, that you, you you manage to live from this, as far as I've understood. Well, we've been in the dumps. We've yeah, been in the uh, fucking dumps. Uh, we've seen the... you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so uh, we, we put a lot of the money into the shows mm. all the time. Because the life situation with Immortal is important. That is a big part of the band. And, and, uh, Pays the bills, but not the mansion. No. You know, yeah. not the uh, five months uh, vacation on the Bahamas. Uh, Drinking up your, all your fans' uh, money. Uh, yeah. no. you know, <laughs> but I, I trip to Lofoten then. Of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah we actually, we have planned that. Uh, yeah. We're talking about that, taking a whale safari at Lofoten. We have to. <laughs> we have to. It's, it's something with the roots, you know. Uh, <coughs> Especially for me, and also for about it's like that's the that's the way that that's where it comes from, you know, this kind of extreme nature, and uh, I think that that's we, a little part of what we do is, is crucial to us. Like maybe have a trip to Lofoten, we would, we should do that, you know, because you have this epic nature, and I think we will enjoy it. I, I just wonder, when, um, do do you have a place in uh, around your area which is like your blusher? Or maybe you will find it up there because the mountains are really wild. No, yes, uh, we have. I mean, uh, several places. Yes, we have. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, and uh, we have some uh, sacred places. Yes, we have some sacred places. Yes, but and and uh, today Blasik is here. Yeah? We're present here, yeah? so it's a little piece of Blasik. Yeah, I mean, uh, wherever uh, we. Dwell with our shit. Blorshuk is always there. Yeah. You know. It's an essential part of the model, of course. Yeah, um, yeah. So it's 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 our thing, you know. Like like not 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 like, but you know, uh, Cosa Nostra means you know. Yeah. Our thing, you know. We don't call it Cosa Nostra. We call it Blorshuk. <laughs> Are we a mafia? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I guess Paul would like this one. <laughs> the former album, Sons of Not the Darkness, uh, I think that was the first album to reach the 100,000 peak, yeah? Probably. Yeah. Maybe Down in Black was close. I'm not really sure. I have never seen the final numbers. Okay. Uh, I have no idea how much, we, we, how we much, how much that yeah. album sold, actually. Yeah. We, n we will never see the final numbers. <laughs> That's right. 
remember uh, Marcus, he expected it to sell uh, 150,000, but I don't, I don't, I don't think... Uh, maybe, maybe it's sweet. It depends on how you count it. If you count it in series, cassettes, tapes, vinyls, whatever. Maybe it's, maybe it's sold so much since, since we still have the same deal. I don't know. Yeah, probably. <laughs> But but it Wait, actually he's re he's really satisfied so I think uh, yeah. I think we we did it and all the Porsche I suppose yeah but uh, with, with the change of the industry do you, do you even think to bother about it I mean or do no. you just continue doing your thing there's one thing we don't bother about it is the industry because there is like two things we you haven't done there's the industry and there's the bank and the industry has nev never been uh, important of course if you want to release an album and sell albums and be a band. You are a little uh, Make sure you're connected to them, but, but you know, it's, it's like uh, the industry comes second, you know? The ma the it's, band it's important to make sure you work with the right people, you know, yeah. you don't sign any deal. I mean, always read the Maybe. small writings, yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, but we are very fortunate to, to, to work with uh, dedicated people, you know, uh, like our manager, which have been working with us, uh, you know, has been working with us since actually the I, the I period, yeah. Mm. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, make sure you work with people you can trust, you know, and it's dedicated, you know. And it's not so easy, you know. Don't uh, work with people that just want to sell your product. You know, we, we, feel, we, mm. feel, we feel very fortunate when it comes to that, you know. But uh, uh, for us it's important to focus on just uh, the artistic side of it, you know.